New details on the officer-involved shooting from Monday that left one man in South Bozeman dead. MTN's Elizabeth Fitz joins us now. And before you get into that new information, Elizabeth, can you explain to us a little bit more the circumstances that led up to this incident? Yeah, Donna, this is still an active investigation. So there are a lot of things we still do not know, but we do know that officers responded to a disturbance call on Bungalow Lane just after one in the afternoon. That's where they found 39-year-old Michael Rogel, who expressed concern that people were on their way to kill him. Rogel then left the residence in a vehicle heading toward Greenmore Court, where a standoff followed. Officers say when Rogel pulled out a shotgun, they fired their weapons. Those five officers now on paid administrative leave, while several departments work to gather the facts. A critical incident can refer to a wide variety of incidents that are typically high risk, high liability, um, where the community can be in danger, the person involved can be in danger, and often a danger to themselves, and the officers are in danger. And that is what happened Monday afternoon in South Bozeman after a standoff between five police officers and a suicidal subject turned deadly. The victims in this case are everyone involved, right? The entire community is a victim when something like this happens. Um, certainly the, the, the people involved in any critical incident, the officers, because it takes a toll on them. The Montana Department of Justice Division of Criminal Investigation is overseeing the evidence gathering. We don't have the answers. We haven't had a chance to look at everything yet. It's going to take some time, but uh, we want to certainly be thorough. We consider that our responsibility to the community, to the agency, and to everyone involved. While the DCI is gathering evidence like toxicology, body camera footage, and interviews, the Bozeman Police Department is conducting an investigation of its own. Concurrently, we have to take an internal look at the actions and make sure that they complied with everything that we require of our officers, take a critical look at it for ourselves, make sure there, see are there any, any training uh, changes we need to make. Once the DCI has all of the facts. We put it all together in a, in a report format with everything that we've gathered and we present that to the county attorney who reviews it and then moves forward on the next decision point. And Elizabeth, did officials tell you how long an investigation like this might take? Yeah, Donna, an investigation like this will take anywhere from three to six months, but there are a lot of moving parts, so they are just asking for the community's patience. Certainly, and when we get uh, new information, you know that we will pass it along to you. Thank you, Elizabeth.